everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kelsey, and in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you 10 things that I will not be buying or spending any money on whatsoever in the year 2021. So number one thing on this list is makeup. And now that might be surprising to some of you because I am a person who wears makeup fairly frequently. However, I have kind of a loophole with this one. My mom has an Ipsy subscription. So every few months or so, she's giving me a sample that she didn't want, whether it be an eyeliner or a mascara. And I also was gifted last year the subscription box FabFitFun, which came with two new palettes. So I basically got everything I need to last me the whole year without having to buy new makeup, with my mom also gifting me the little samples every once in a while. So you may not be in a position to do that because I know you should change out your mascara every few months, but in that way, I do not have to spend any money on makeup. And so I will not be spending any money on makeup this year. The second thing on this list is subscription boxes. So I do not currently pay for any sort of subscription boxes. Like I just mentioned, I do get FabFitFun, but it was a gift for my birthday last year. And I believe I've got two more boxes to go before it is up. And I have no intentions of paying to renew that service. The third thing on this list is K-Cups or any kind of disposable coffee filters. So we actually used to use a Keurig pretty frequently. It was like our daily coffee. And when my husband started at Starbucks, he actually gets a free bag of coffee for being an employee. So we ditched the K-Cups and we've only been drinking that free coffee. And what we typically use is a French press. So there's no need to buy K-cups or disposable filters. The fourth thing on this list is disposable straws. Now, a year or two ago, I did invest in some reusable silicone straws, and we do get some reusable straws every so often from Starbucks. So we will not be purchasing any disposable plastic straws and therefore truly helping the environment as well as saving money. Number five on this list is any kind of cleaning products. Now I probably have enough cleaning products under my kitchen sink and under my bathroom sink without having to purchase any more. And it's very cheap and easy to make an all natural multi-purpose cleaner at home using vinegar and lemon essential oil. The sixth thing on this list that I will not be spending any money on and that is air freshener. Now I've learned over the last couple of years trying to be more natural and mindful of what is in my cleaning and beauty products that air fresheners are terrible for you and I've already not been purchasing air freshener but I will continue to not purchase air freshener and just fragrance the home using essential oils. The seventh thing on this list is a gym membership. We will not be purchasing any gym memberships in the year 2021. Now last year my husband did have a gym membership which he canceled due to not being able to go as much as he would like due to COVID. And this year we'll just try to get outside more to get our exercise <laughs> that way. The eighth thing on this list is haircuts. Now as you can see, I'm not a person who gets regular haircuts but I am fortunate enough to have a friend and also my mom who can both trim my hair when I need to. And I've actually gotten pretty good, I guess, at cutting both my husband and my son's hair. And we've been saving a lot of money that way. Not having to pay for the haircut plus tip when I can just cut their hair at home myself. Now the ninth thing on this list is socks. Now. I'm a person who is a sucker for all of the cute holiday socks. If I see a pair at Dollar Tree, I'll usually just pick them up and I've got two full drawers full of socks. So I don't need a new pair of socks probably for the rest of my life. So I will not be purchasing any socks. And the 10th and final thing on my list is new clothes. 
We are a family who purchases a lot of our clothes at thrift stores or secondhand stores and that works just fine for us. We find a lot of nice things and I have plenty of clothes. My kids both have plenty of clothes. My husband has plenty of clothes. So we will not have a need to buy anything retail new. So if we buy anything at all, it will be from a thrift store. So that's why I'm saying we will not be buying any new clothes. Maybe I'll really challenge myself and not buy any clothes at all for the entire year, not even thrifted. But I don't know if I can do that. I guess we'll see. <laughs> all right guys, that is it for my list. I hope you enjoyed this. You'll have to let me know what's something you're challenging yourself to not buy this year in 2021. And make sure you're subscribed for my next video. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye!